Hi, everybody. This is the Father Mike Minute. We're going through the Mass uh, this Lenten season. I mentioned um, probably my favorite video so far was the one where I talked about the altar as a, as a symbol of the church. And I mentioned, this was several episodes ago, about how it's got the saints, the statues, the relics. It's got the candles, the lights. It's got the, the true presence of Jesus in the tabernacle. How the altar is, it represents, it represents the entire Catholic Church. But I forgot to mention a couple things. Number one, look how it reaches up to heaven. You see how the altar reaches up to heaven. And you can also see, what I want you to pay attention to, is the fact that it's permanent. You don't, it won't move. The Catholic Church, which this altar represents, can't move. And the Catholic Church, which teaches, professes, and lives the truth, the deposit of faith handed down to us by Christ himself, is unmovable. Sometimes people look at the Catholic Church and they say, gee, I wish you would change on this, that, or the other thing. It's like, we can't. Because guess what? We don't rewrite the Bible. We don't rewrite God's teachings. They're permanent. God is unmoved. He is unmovable. And the altar, the church requires that the altar, whether we're talking about a high altar like that beautiful thing back there, or whether we're talking about a smaller altar here, is, is meant, it's supposed to be permanent. It, it can't really move. And um, the, the altar, of course, as a symbol of the church, is also covered by an altar cloth. We cover everything as Catholics that gives life. That's why you, you see the, inside the tabernacle there's a veil. That is why you see um, over the ciborium is a veil. That's why there's a chalice veil. That's why many women uh, choose to veil themselves because traditionally we veil, biblically, we veil everything that gives life. And the altar, which represents the Catholic Church, gives life. Remember Ezekiel, when God is up, he's talking about this mountain, and he tells Ezekiel this beautiful vision, he gives this vision, and flowing out of the temple on top of this mountain are these waters that give life to every sort of plant and tree and fruit under the, under, on, the on the mountain. It gives healing powers. It's gives, giving life, all these different things. And that's what the Catholic Church does. The Catholic Church is veiled because it gives life. It gives life to the whole world, and it doesn't just give life on earth. We do those corpor beautiful corporal works of mercy, the spiritual works of mercy, feeding the hungry, giving drink to the thirsty, um, all of the mercy, the acts of mercy. But the Catholic Church also gives eternal life. And when you gaze on the altar, whether you're gazing on a smaller altar or a majestic high altar, we should think about the fact that it rep this is a symbol of Jesus, of the Catholic Church, unmovable, beautiful, containing the sacraments that give life here and hereafter. God bless you. Reaching up to heaven. Reaching up to heaven. Okay, now God bless you.